what's up y'all welcome back to my channel this is amber j so i do have another uh kingdom spouse dream that i want to give to you guys um this is for the fellas okay i know like I, I don't know if people be talking to the fellas you know what i'm saying so i'm really excited to deliver this one um because i know you guys be like oh what about me you know we always have women delivering these dreams or from what i see and you know and it's always like a guy and he always caught up in some uh, footy duddy stuff or whatever being real prodigal up in these streets but you know i really don't see a lot of um videos speaking to the men and so when i had this dream i was really excited because I, I, you know you guys are deserving of a word too right so look okay i'm just getting right into the dream in the dream it was me and i was walking in a mall and the mall was very dark it was like you ever been somewhere and it's like Maybe about five, six o'clock in the evening or whatever, like the sun is setting or, you know, or seven o'clock, whatever, depending on the time of the year, the sun's setting, right? And like the lights go out and you have like a little bit of light that's seeping in from the windows or the doors opening, but it's definitely not bright. It's very dim, right? So I'm walking in the mall and that's what it looks like. Everything is dim. Um, it looks like a power outage, you know what I'm saying? Or something like that. And I'm walking in, I run into this guy, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm headed somewhere. I'm just walking, I'm trying to get to wherever I got to go. And um, I run into this guy and he stops me. And he has on this shirt, Is he has on his white shirt and it's so bright. And he's just so, uh, he's just so like illuminating, like he's just, he he's bright he's tall he's very handsome um and he keeps pulling me aside he's very gentle as well and he keeps pulling me aside and he's trying to talk to me and i'm really not giving him the time because i'm like yeah you know um i got i got somewhere to go you know um i kind of got a one track mind like <laughs> really in real life like when i'm stuck on something i've got a stuck on it you know but anyway so that's how i was definitely in the dream i was just kind of like I, you know i gotta go somewhere whatever and then um the scene kind of switch you know the I, I, i'm not in the mall anymore anymore i didn't go anywhere but i'm not in the mall anymore but i run into these like mean group of people and these mean group of people it's like i they're like wizard kelly from proud family like big and you know intimidating but i can't see their head i cannot see their head right um and i'm just kind of like trying to you know shift through them or whatever because they're just there you know they're really not doing anything to me but i could just see you just telling their demeanor that you know they don't mean me any well so finally i just kind of break away from them like you know it was kind of like a little bit of a uh, little maneuvering or whatever but i break away from them right and so um when i broke away from them I told myself I was happy because I, I don't know why I felt like I just kind of defeated something a little bit. And then I broke away from him and um, I told myself, I'm going to go back to the mall and I am going to go talk to that guy. And um, this time, you know, I went back to the mall. I'm like shining. I have on a white shirt now, you know, um, and it's very, it's just, it's just like his and it's bright and it's glowing and it's illuminating. And um, I, I'm so confident. And um, I remember I'm walking. I got my shades on. And like I said, I'm so confident. And then, you know, I'm just like, I'm going to go back and I'm going to go talk to that guy. You know, um, because he made an impression on me. And so I want to uh, mention this as well in a dream. When I went back to the mall, those same three people that were mean to me, they were there. But they were like off to the back a little bit. Like they were... A non-factor for real they were there but they were not in a way so here's the meaning of this dream right kingdom men in waiting for your spouse and you're believing for your spouse who and you've met the girl right and she seemed like she didn't give you the time of day or whatever you know what i'm saying just kind of like she was just brushing you off a little bit and you didn't think that it was like a demeaning type of thing like she thought she was better than you or you know anything like that she, she just was like not available for you or not there the encouraging word is this look around 
Look around because she may be close by. Remember, in the beginning of the dream, I met him when I was at the mall, right? And at the end of the dream, when I, you know, defeated off some devils, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I do believe that it was symbi uh, symbolizing, like, um, the things getting in the way. I defeated some devils. I felt really good. I got my, got my confidence back. And I said, I'm going to go back to the guy that made an impression on me. Men, look around because she may be close by. Okay? And don't get so offended or don't be um in unforgiveness basing basing this new her on the, the her that you met. Listen, women sometimes... You know, we don't give you the time of day, like, especially if we got out of a bad relationship, we don't feel adequate. We feel damaged. We feel like used goods, right? We don't see the beauty in us that you see. Okay. And so sometimes we have to go back in hindsight and be like, okay, that's what that was. He wasn't just somebody in my face, just trying to waste my time again. He really liked me. But when you when your, um, excuse me, when your vision is blurry, you can't see that. Remember, in the beginning of the dream, it was dim. It was dark. And I do believe that sim that was uh, uh, symbolizing my vision. I couldn't see right, you know, um, in that dream. Like, and so, men, that kingdom spouse, that girl, she couldn't see right. Her vision was dim. She couldn't, she couldn't, she could not see you for, her, for who you were, for all of who you were, because her entire vision, her entire outlook on everything was dim. She couldn't be optimistic about you. She wasn't optimistic about herself. She wasn't optimistic about nothing. She had to go and defeat and slay some stuff. And get that stuff out of her life. And regain her strength and regain her confidence. And this is another thing I wanted to pinpoint in that dream. Excuse me, y'all. I just got that, you know, back from outside. I didn't need to go, you know, whatever. Sorry, y'all. But anyway. So excuse me if you kind of see me like, you know, or you hear me like fumbling on my words, you know, excuse me. I'm just kind of in between two things. But anyway, um, very important to um, pinpoint in the beginning of the dream, the guy had on like this big, vibrant, bright, illuminating white shirt. In the end, she had on this vib vibrant, bright, illuminating white shirt as well. Listen. You guys, this time, are going to be equally yoked. Listen, who Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Y'all going to be equally yoked. Men, even if she did not give you that time of day that you thought she should have given you that time of day, you didn't. You would not have wanted that version of her. There would have been too much work on you. Let the Lord be the Lord. Let God be God. Let God do that job in that lady that you cannot do. See, because this time when she come around, oh, she's going to be that package you want. The Bible says this, hallelujah, thank you, Lord. He said the blessing of the Lord make it rich and added no sorrow to it. If you would have got that girl when you wanted that girl, it would have been some sorrow to that. So listen, man, look, look around, okay? In the end of the dream, I, I, I did not see the guy, but I was in his vicinity, She's coming back around, okay? <laughs> She'll be coming around about when she come. I don't know why I thought of that stuff. I don't know why I thought of that. But anyway, listen, look around. She's close by. And she's coming back healed, whole, beautiful. She's coming back in the image that you've seen her as. But now that she sees it herself, it's going to be less work on you to try to build her up, to try to heal those wounds. God did all of this. God's going to get the glory. All right? You know, so listen, y'all. Listen, fellas. You might have met a girl. You probably met your kingdom spouse. And you knew it. You know, you knew it. And she wasn't ready. Don't, don't go be looking like, oh, that's her loss. So what you going to do, you know, what, try to make it work with somebody else. And now you got to do all that dirty work. No, girl, the girl is ready. The lady, the woman is ready. Ooh, she's ready. But 
like God told David, he said, when you see me moving in the mulberry trees, it ain't going to just jump out at you. Okay? She ain't just going to jump out at you. Rise above it a little bit. You might have to start praying and be like, God, where should I be today? Where should I go today? You know, but understand something. When you do that, she'll be close by. I love you. I love you guys. Y'all be blessed, okay?